Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am with Carla of Howard's Leather Store here in, oh geez, what's the name of the county? Spofford. Spofford, <laughs> New Hampshire. And today we are going to be reviewing these Boule harness boots. Let's get into it. All right, Carla. So I'm a huge fan of Boulets. Everybody knows it on my channel. Um, I've never tried a harness boot though, and I'm really excited to, to try this out. Um, what do you think of Boulets and how well do they do here at Howard's Leather Store? They do amazing here. Um, we sell this boot for a lot of different reasons. One is for a person that just wants a casual boot to be able to go out to dinner, mm -hmm. to be able to knock around. We sell a lot of them for people that want to use them on their motorcycle because it has the nice Vibram sole. Um, it's, it's got the harness to be able to protect them if they ever went down, mm -hmm. pray they don't. Um, it, it's just a, a real meaty boot that's going to last. We have people that come back and say they've had them for seven or eight years and they look brand new. So that's the neatest part. And they yep. come in a couple of colors. They come in this distress, which is which is kind of fun for the guy who doesn't want to do the whole black thing. Um, but the, the black one. The black boot is is probably number one, and the brown starting to catch up. But this boot is just amazing because it feels like a sneaker when it's on your foot. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the things really nice. that I like about Boule is that they're they're really well built. Yeah. It seems to me. I basically have um, four boots. Okay. When I just started out like a year ago. All right. And most of them were Boule's. Okay. Three Boule's, one Abilene. You started uh, at the top. Yeah. I had to. <laughs> you know. When I got set up with those Boule's, they're still kicking. They look like crap now because I got gasoline spilled on them and everything. Yeah. But. Uh, but they have they're stories still going. to tell. They have yeah. stories. And that's what the great thing about a boot that lasts that long, right? Yeah. Because they have yeah. stories to tell. Yep. But it has almost 12 years on it. Wow. Yeah. That's it's very cool. It's been resold like six times. So, I mean, very these good. are built really, really well. And the leather's a nice drum dyed leather. So if, as you move the boot in the brown, you can see the highlighting of, of the leather. You can see it kind of give with your foot. So it's going to take on a life of its own and look a little different. Every pair looks a little different. And um, they're they're not lined. Mm -hmm. So um, they mold to your foot really fast. Okay. And, they, and they're just real comfortable to wear, like I said, on the motorcycle, because you don't have that extra layer of, of heat. Right. generated in there. Now you said they were drum dyed. Yes. What does that mean? Drum dyed means that when the leather is tanned, instead of taking a spray guns per se to go over the leather to create the, the finish that you're going to have, mm -hmm. which sometimes is a little shinier, um, the drum dyed is when they take the leather and they drop it into a vat of color. Mm. So it's sort of like the Kentucky Fried Chicken of, of boots. <laughs> You're dropping the chicken in the drink. But, but, um, but anyways, you drop the leather into the vat and it's going to come out and the, le the, the color goes all the way through and the oils go all the way through the leather versus just sitting on the top. Okay. Wow. Okay. I never knew that. You never, well, I'll say here. That's you. great. Thank yeah. you for that. Yep. <laughs> Anytime. So also in, in, in addition to this being drum dyed leather, it's, uh, it's cowhide. Yes. 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 And we have a Goodyear welt. Yes. A one one stitch on the welt. Yep. A rubber sole. Yes. Nice tread. No falling down. No falling down at all. That's nice yep. vibrant. And it's and it's nice sole. because it's oil resistant. So if you are on the bike, you're not going to slip if you go to put your feet down. Perfect. Yep. And for the heel, it's not stacked leather. This is a wood heel. It looks Correct. like right. Yep. yep. And yep. let's let's sort of go over the insole too, because this is not. Uh, it's not a removable. It's not removable. It's kind of a cloth insole. Can you tell Correct. me anything else about it? Um, it's it's. I mean, we've never had anybody complain about any of the inside that has a leather heel cup on the back. Um, it's reinforced to the back of the boot again because it's not lined. There isn't a lot in there. It looks really nice though. Yeah, it does look nice. <laughs> and you do have that one leather pad on the yep. heel. Yep. All right. Wow. Yeah, and, this is a Boulay great And Boulay sizing boot. runs a little different because they don't have a D width as a per se for medium for a man. Mm -hmm. They have an E and triple E. They skip the double E and then they can also go up to a um, a five E. Wow. I yeah. didn't know they yeah, did five E. Yeah, and some of their e. models. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That is incredible. Yep. This is the 11 E. You don't have half sizes here, you said. Just because we don't have a lot of room, we can special order them, but a lot of times the boule runs a little fuller mm -hmm. than some of the other models. So a lot of times a person can go down that half size. Mm -hmm. 
sizing. Yeah, uh, just because it is uh, the Canadian right. sizing, right? Because right? Right. these are made in Canada. I think it's time to try this on. Oh, go for it. Yes. Can't wait to see how you like it. You should start your own <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been doing this a while. We've been here. Well, my grandfather was Howard. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, it's just kind of fun. We've been doing this for 67 years in the family. So, wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. And from so, the same location. No, we had another store in Yarmouth, Maine. Okay. And right on Route 1 was the first, well, my grandfather always described it as the first Western store east of the Mississippi. Had Burt Reynolds stop there. And, wow. Yeah. That's yeah, so he cool. was on, you know, the Tonight Show wearing a jacket from here and boots and stuff. So it was fun. So we've been here for, since 1966. Wow. And uh, so, yeah. That's so, so cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, I heard a nice thud. Yeah. That's what that's the good sound that's that we this, like to that's hear. That's the magicness, the magic sound. This is a really nice boot. Yes, it is. Wow. I, this is the first time I've ever tried a harness boot. Uh, do, do they typically all have square toes or do they also sometimes have like pointed toes or snip toes um, or something? The like harness that? is usually going to have going to have the square toe. That's sort of their signature. Mhm. Mm okay. A more rounded one would be like an engineer boot. Yeah. But but it looks sharp. It does look great. The uh, the cloth insole is comfortable. It's a little bit different from some of the other insoles that Boulet has. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something that I haven't felt. The uh, little patch of leather on the heel is is different, but it allows for the the right amount of heel slip, I guess. So your right. heels doesn't get like stuck or like sweaty or right. It just weird. helps you get into it. Yep. Yeah, it helps you get in. And being that drum dyed leather, you can just, the, you know, if you saw a scratch or anything that appeared on mm -hmm. the brown, you can just take your fingers and you can work that, work that scratch right out. Or you can put some leather lotion on them, but bring them right back to going, you know, if you wore them in the barn all day long and then decided, okay, I got to go out to dinner. You just clean them up real quick and they're off you go. What about for other treatment? Like how would you usually use uh, a regular conditioner like I don't know Big Four or we, Lexol. We or... would we use a lot of the fibing products here or of the Apple brand because okay. they're a little milder where you can use them often uh -huh. and um, that would be all I would suggest. I, I'm not a big fan of, of mink oils type mm -hmm. things to, to clog the pores. You want the leather to breathe. Doesn't so it darken it too? It, it will darken. Yes it would darken these a lot. I really like to look at that. It's sharp. I, I, <laughs> yeah. All right everybody so this is an amazing boot. I really like the way it feels. That drum dyed, di dyed yep. drum dyed leather feel is uh, has a little bit of oily feel, but not so much where it gets on your hands no, or no. anything. No. So this is a very nice leather. It is supple, but you can tell that it's really durable and tough. I didn't think we said the name of the model number here. This is model number 2131. Uh, it is called the Golden harness boot from Boule. And uh, is there anything else that we should cover about this boot before we close things off, I, do you think? I think it's a boot that everybody should try on at least once. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, what boot isn't a boot that right, you should you try, try on at least on. once? <laughs> so yeah, no, I think, I think it's, a, it's a neat, you wanna come in and put your foot in them because um, looking at them, you know, in a catalog just doesn't do the same thing as coming in and actually trying them on. So, right. Yeah. You, you don't get the same experience. Yeah. No, no, you need to you need to put your foot in. You need to feel that. I nice have this leather. one video where I talk about the spiritual experience you get when you put on a good pair of cowboy boots that's yeah. meant for you. Yeah. And I definitely had that experience when I put this on. I don't like to talk about it that much because it's a dangerous feeling and it's not good for my bank account. But this is an amazing boot and one that I did get the spiritual experience from, but it is a Boulet and you guys all know that Boulet is my favorite brand. So that's going to happen with most Boulets that I put on. Very good. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know what you think of this harness boot from Boulet in the comments below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> that was awesome. That was fun. Hey, the harness boots from Boulet are good for every day. Whether on the bike or on the town, these Boulets won't drag you down. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to stop by Howard's Leather Shop here on Route 9 in New Hampshire. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Hey, the harness boots from Boule are good for every day. Whether on the bike or on the town, these Boule's won't drag you down.